transportation in plants. In the previous section, we have learned about transportation in human beings. Now, let us learn transportation in plants. As we have discussed earlier, plants prepare their own food using simple compound inorganic sources such as CO2 water along with some raw materials and photosynthesized energy in the presence of sunlight and stored in the chlorophyll of leaves. The plants require raw materials like soil, nitrogen, phosphorus and other minerals to build their bodies. The plants absorb raw materials from soil with the help of roots which are in contact with the soil. If distance between soil, root and chlorophyll is small, energy needed is less and raw materials can easily diffuse into all parts of plant body. If distance between soil, root and chlorophyll is large, it needs much energy and raw materials cannot diffuse easily. In such cases, a proper system of transportation is essential. Example, tall trees. The energy requirement for transportation also varies according to plant structure. As plants do not move and plant bodies have large dead cells in many tissue, as a result, plants have low energy needs and use slow transport system in case of tall plants, distance over transport system is large. Why do plants need a transport system? Plants need water, mineral salts and raw materials for photosynthesis in order to survive. The water and mineral salts from soil is transported into plants through roots. This can only be transported through the water carrying tubes in the stem, also known as xylem. Products of photosynthesis prepared in the leaves are to be transported to the other parts of plants. This can only be transported by the food carrying tubes, also known as phloem. Transport of water. In xylem, Tissue vessels and tracheids are the two types of transport tissue in plants. Both vessels and tracheids consist of thick cell walls. Tracheids are single cell shorter in length whereas vessels are several celled and much longer than tracheids. In xylem, vessels and tracheids of roots stem and leaves are interconnected to facilitate continuous water conduction system to all parts of plant. The water transport upwards against force of gravity with the help of xylem vessels. In the movement of water upwards plants have two types of strategies. Absorption of water as the xylem vessels, cells of root, are in contact with soil, it actively absorbs the water ions. When root is in contact with the soil, soil has more concentration of water and root has less concentration, obviously. A difference in concentration of ions is present in between the root and soil. To balance the difference in water ions between root and soil, water moves into root, which means a steadily or continuous movement of water into xylem of roots, which creates column of water steadily pushing upwards. In xylem, the flow of water is bulk flow, and negative pressure facilitates movement of water and minerals into roots. Transpiration of water. Transpiration is nothing but of evaporation of water molecules from stomata of leaves into atmosphere. Stomata are the guard cells. In definition, transpiration 
is defined as the loss of water in the form of vapor from the aerial parts of the plant is known as transpiration. The loss of water molecules or evaporation of water molecules through leaves creates suction or root pressure, pulls water upwards through xylem cells of root. root. Thus, the losses of water through stomata of leaves are replaced by suction of water through xylem vessels in the leaf. It also helps in temperature regulation. During the day, transpiration helps in conduction of water through xylem vessels and maintains balance of ions between root and soil. During nights, root pressure occurs due to difference in concentration of active ions between root and soil help in conduction of water. Phloem Phloem is another conducting tissue in the transport of foods. The structure of phloem consists of conducting cells called sieve elements which are thick, circular and elongated cells. The food that is synthesized in photosynthesis are soluble products like sucrose and nutrients, carbohydrates, etc. are transported through phloem in upward and downward directions to all parts of plant. The transport of soluble products of photosynthesis is called translocation. It can be done by using the energy in the form ATP, adenosine triphosphate, produced by photosynthesis. Phloem also transports amino acids and other substances. These are especially transported to fruits and seeds for storage and food transported to roots for the requirement of energy in the process of absorption of water from soil to roots. Sucrose is transferred into phloem by using energy from ATP molecules leads to increase the osmotic pressure of the tissues and water moves into phloem and materials in the phloem to tissues which have less pressure. For example, in the spring, sugar stored in root or stem tissue would be transported to the buds which need energy to grow.